The Power of Prayer, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who have spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long to belong. We are developing discipleship tools, distributing them across multiple platforms to bring about a rapture-ready body of believers so that when Jesus Christ comes back to catch his own away, he, he, will, he will know exactly who his children are. Listen to carefully to the night's nightlight, 1 Samuel 7 and verse 8. And the children of Israel said to Samuel, Cease not to cry unto the Lord for us, that he will save us out of the hand of the Philistines. They said, Won't you pray for us, Samuel? Samuel is one of the unsung heroes of the Older Testament. Uh, the kings kind of get all the attention. The, the other prophets seem to get the attention. Samuel was a transitional leader. He transitioned between the era of the judges, and he anointed the first king, and he was a, a key pivotal uh, player in that era. He was an amazing man, and one of the things that made his time so significant was prayer was the centerpiece of all that he did. He understood that prayer moves the hand of God by touching the heart of God, and then God moves in a powerful, profound way on behalf of his children. Uh, my words to you really won't do much. They won't change much. And so I'm, I'm a little leery of just giving people words. When somebody comes to me with a crisis situation that's in their life, my, my response is, let's pray about that. Let's talk to God about that. Let's not go to the phone. Let's go to the throne. Let's take this to God Almighty that he can move in it. I, I had prayer with two wonderful people today going through some situations, and that's not uncommon for me. I pray a lot with people. I, almost on a daily basis, I'm praying with somebody about some situation that's going on in their life, and that's very intentional on my part because they, they don't just need to hear my words that we, we need to together take that issue before God because God is supernatural power. Uh, one thing that God can do is, is that he can deliver us from the situation. That's an amazing thing. He has the ability to do the supernatural, to move beyond what you and I can even conceive or think about. Uh, that's an amazing thing, man. And I think sometimes we live below the level of uh, what God wants for us because we've not gone to prayer as much as we should. We need to be people of prayer. Samuel, in fact, another time in 1 Samuel chapter 12, uh, the people of Israel being chastised by God, and they requested prayer from him, from Samuel in verse 19. And then uh, he, the response is from Samuel, it says, For the Lord will not forsake his people. When, when we come to God in prayer, God's not going to forsake us. God's going to move in a powerful way. And then he said this in verse 23 of 1 Samuel 12, God forbid that I should sin against the Lord in ceasing to pray for you, but I will teach you the good and the right way. Let's go to God in prayer. If you've got a real need in your heart, take it to God right now. If you have a friend that has a real need in their heart or their life, would you pray for them? Would you just grab them and say, can I pray for you? You know what? That means a lot to people. Let's do that. Let's pray. Dear Lord God, I just pray that you would be with us tonight, God. Let us learn the lesson of prayer. We desperately need to be in touch with the power that flows from your throne. Thank you that you are a prayer-hearing God. You tell us that we have not because we ask not. And God, we are coming before you asking for the situations that my brothers and sisters are praying about right now. Lord, we are agreeing on earth as touching these things, asking for restorations of marriages, asking God that you would provide, Lord, uh, friends for those that are lonely, asking that you would bring healing into broken bodies, asking God that you'd bring financial resource to those that need it, asking God that you'd give a peace that passes understanding to guard our minds when we find ourselves stressed to the breaking point. God, you have all that we need. And we come before you asking that you'd move in a supernatural way on our behalf. Bless us tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you even more. Have a great night.